Hello and welcome to Newlsoft 4 training videos. In this video, we are going to learn uh, how to import a given CSV file into the database. Let's jump into the demo. To import a CSV file into the database, uh, we have a basic setup already ready and we have a mule flow with a HTTP listener to accept CSV file and the logger to see what the payload is. First, let's start with this template and keep adding more components. So we have a SOAP UI and uh, this is a CSV file with uh, two records, with record ID 1 and record ID 2. Let's see what the outcome is. So right now we have uh, displayed the exact input access so two records are displayed so we can keep adding more components now so in order to add a, a csv record into the database we need for each drag and drop so for each automatically retrieves array of records and iterates through them one by one so let's introduce a logger and see Now let's run this. Now we should get each record independently in the console. And you can see we got the error that says cannot coerce object into an array. So please remember always the input has to be an array of records if you want to iterate through for each. So we are going to add a simple transformation. And we are going to convert to Java. So in order to do that, we need to have uh, uh, the payload set up with the incoming CSV structure. So here is what we are going to do. I have already configured the CSV with the necessary fields. One is ID and another one is name. We can choose that. And uh, we can choose this. And then map it. You can see this error has gone away. So let's run it now and see if uh, for loop is able to iterate uh, all the records on the one. Now we can see the console with the two iteration where each record is displayed properly. Now our next step is to add database. And we can choose insert into the for each scope and uh, I have already configured the database. You can see here it's running in my local with the database uh, employee. And we will test the connection. Yeah, connection is successful. And let's see the content of the database. So the database table contains no records. Now we'll go back to the flow and add the insert query. So we have introduced two parameters, one is ID, another one is name, and we need to define what those values are. So we have configured the parameters. We will ensure that the server is restarted. Yes, it's restarted. Let's run again. It's completed. 
now you can see the records are iterated and inserted. Let's go and check out the database table content. There you go. The two records are inserted. That's it. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.